Does it could? Now I'm recording. Oh, now you're recording. Well, I already had my rant. Well, what do you want to do at Mount Everest? I want to clean it. Why did you <laughs> climb Mount Everest? Because it was dirty. <laughs> freaking tons of litter up there. You need to put up a freaking no littering sign and clean off some of that crap. <laughs> Looks like a mess, man. Should be a preserved landmark. Enough people climb it, someone should have cleaned it by now. You would think so, wouldn't you? But no. Yeah. No, they just put more stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Just go up there and have a beer and just leave it laying right on top of the summit of Mount Everest. It's not even good stuff. Like, it used to be flags. Now it's like McDonald's wrappers. Yeah. I mean, why did they build the McDonald's, like, right down from the summit anyways? It can't be good for business. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's like $30 a burger. I bet it's good for business when people see McDonald's wrappers on the tip of Mount Everest. They think, man, we should hit up that McDonald's on the way back down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder how the altitude affects the cooking. I know it changes boiling times. Yeah. It, it also makes it taste bland. Does it really? Yeah. I wouldn't know. You, you were up at a higher altitude more than I was. Yeah, yeah. Al altitude changes the taste or yeah. the smell. Huh. Maybe, maybe it's because the air is thinner and the smell can't completely, like... I don't know, hit oh, your nose that, as hard? that would make sense. Yeah, that might be no, it. I mean, they could pressurize the McDonald's, I guess. Yeah. They should have, like, two sets of doors as you go in. Yeah, yeah. just a, an airlock right on top of the uh, summit of Mount Everest McDonald's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Solve that problem right away. Yeah, that would taste good. Mm-hmm. Especially and if it weren't McDonald's. Nothing works up an appetite like climbing Mount Everest. Yeah. Or cleaning. Cleaning always makes me tired.